Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I cover oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. So I'm super excited about today's video because we're gonna find out if the Fenty Beauty Fly Baby Mini Eyeshadow Primer and Mini Liquid Liner are hooded eye approved. Now as an FYI, I purchased this at the beginning of the year and I just have not had a chance to review it until now. So Sephora no longer sells this mini duo together, but they do of course have the regular size liquid liner and the regular size eyeshadow primer. So I already bought this, so we're just gonna go ahead and review it as is. But before we get into my first impressions, let's go over the benefits for both of these products. So the Pro Filter Amplifying Primer claims to be a weightless, color-boosting eyeshadow primer that smooths lids for better blending and longer crease-proof wear. So the Fly Liner Longwear Liquid Liner claims to be a hyper-saturated, water-resistant liquid eyeliner with an innovative flex tip and easy grip triangle shape for an effortless, no-limit lining that lasts. So that was a mouthful. But anyway, I have tested these products out for 10 hours. So let's go ahead and talk about my first impressions. And then we'll talk about how it did at the end of the day. All right, so I have absolutely nothing on my lids right now. So let's go ahead and get into the primer. Here is what the doe foot is looking like. Smell test. I mean, it smells like makeup. It smells like it has chemicals in it. Now let's put this on my eyelid. It feels super soft, super smooth, silky. I love that it does have a little bit of a tacky texture to it. Now I'm just gonna put it on my other eyelid. I always put my primer in the corner of my eyes as well, just cause I do like to do inner corner highlight. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and set both eyes with some translucent setting powder. So it doesn't matter what eyeshadow primer or eyeshadow I'm using, I do always have to set it. I just find that I have the best results anytime I set my eyeshadow primer. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and get into my eyeshadow. I'm gonna just do like an everyday look. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I just really wanna see how well my shadows are gonna blend on top of this eyeshadow primer and just see how well the colors are gonna stand out. Already looking so, so good. Everything is blending beautifully and it just looks so soft. Now let's see how well they build on top of each other with this primer. And honestly, I don't feel like any texture is being shown on my eyelids. I feel like everything is just so smoothed out. It does look just a bit patchy. And I am using a very trusty everyday eyeshadow palette. Let me see if I can fix this. Okay, so it's definitely looking a lot better than before. Let me go ahead and just continue and put some eyeshadow on my eyelid. Okay, so I'm gonna be back with the rest of my makeup. Of course, I'm gonna come back with this eye completed and we are gonna be testing out the eyeliner. Now that the rest of my makeup is complete, time to test out the eyeliner. All right, so this is a felt tip liner, which I absolutely love. I do have extremely shaky hands, so with the felt tip eyeliner, I'm able to just stamp the eyeliner along the lash line. Time to test out the eyeliner. As you can see, it is actually going on really smoothly. Very, very pigmented. Okay, so as you guys saw, that glided on beautifully and so easy. So I'm gonna do just the smallest wing liner really quickly. I'm not gonna do anything fancy. Okay, so this has been on my eyelid for about a minute or two. Let's go ahead and test out just how transfer proof it is. Nice. There's nothing on there. Looking pretty good. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye and put on some mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back with the liner and mascara, so let's go ahead and take a look at my eyes. So I'm really liking my eyeshadow right now. I feel like everything is looking so smooth and blended out beautifully. And I normally have texture like on the left eyelid and I'm not seeing that texture right now. I feel like this eyeshadow primer really smoothed everything out. And this eyeliner so far has not transferred. It hasn't smudged, it hasn't flaked and it didn't bleed into any lines. I think that it is looking so, so good. So let's just do a close up so you guys can see. 
Here's what the right side is looking like with my eyes closed. And then the left side with my eyes closed as well. Okay, so far this is looking so, so beautiful, but of course the real test is to see how this looks in 10 hours, so I'll be right back. Here's what my eyes are looking like after 10 hours. They honestly look the exact same as when I very first put on the eyeshadow. There is no creasing, no fading, no transfer, no smudging, nothing. This looks absolutely gorgeous. You can't even tell that I've been wearing this for 10 hours. Okay, so let's go over my overall thoughts for the eyeshadow primer. Now, I really like working with this. A little bit goes a long way because of its silky smooth, like silicone texture, it just really glides all over the eyelid. So that's pretty nice. Like even if you decide to purchase the mini one, I feel like you're gonna get so many uses out of it. Now, because of my hooded eyes, I have a lot of the wrinkles, just a lot of extra skin. So that creates, of course, a lot of texture. And I think that this does a really good job because of its silicone properties I feel like it does a really good job just like filling in those fine lines and just kind of giving me that appearance of like nice and smooth eyelids now I know I had just the smallest idiot bittiest problem with blending on top of this eyeshadow primer but really I was able to fix it with just adding more eyeshadow and just blending more other than that I feel like it did a really good job just overall keeping my eyeshadow there all day even with my oily hooded lids I think it did a really good job now for my overall thoughts on this liquid liner I absolutely love the fact that it's a felt tip liner I have really shaky hands so I just feel like for me at least the best applicator is going to be a felt tip because then I'm able to easily just kind of stamp the liner onto my my lash line and then of course it does take just a bit of work to do the wing part whenever I do decide to do a wing but I just feel like for me with my shaky hands the felt tip is going to be the best applicator. I do think that this liner is very pigmented. I just feel like my pigment got lost with all of the shimmer that I was wearing just because I do have hooded eyes. The hood that had the shimmer kind of laid on top of the liquid liner so it kind of just you know didn't shine like it should but it definitely is a very pigmented liner. Okay so I have to tell you my favorite thing about this liquid liner and that is the fact that it dries down so quickly and I know for those of you who have hooded eyes you can definitely appreciate that because whenever we get those liners that are super liquidy that are super wet as soon as we line our lashes and then open our eyes we get that transfer onto our hooded lids and that's no fun and there are of course other good qualities like the fact that it doesn't fade or flake or smudge or anything like that it is just perfect. It is beautiful. The full size liquid liner is $24 and then the full size eyeshadow primer is $22. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing these in the full size. These are hooded eye approved and I highly, highly recommend them. Okay guys, so I know that I made a big fuss about the felt tip liner applicator being the best applicator. Are you guys on the same page as me or are you guys more towards the brush tip applicator? Let me know down in the comments below and if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Thanks. Bye.